the ocean is highly interconnected. What happens in one part of the ocean affects another part. We have a shared global responsibility to protect the ocean, to ensure its health and productivity now and for future generations. Sharing this responsibility means sharing our knowledge. In 2018, the EU and China signed a blue partnership for the ocean with a shared objective to ensure effective ocean governance. Our combined investments in monitoring and data make up a good proportion of the global total. If the European Union and China can find common ground, then others will follow. The collaboration between EMODnet and the Chinese National Marine Data and Information Service started as part of the EU-China Blue Year. And together we came up with a set of topics that were of mutual interest to both of us. And so in 2020, the EU and China initiated two collaborative projects, EMODPAYS and SEMnet, on ocean data exchange. This project is really uh, a first of its kind in using data for ocean governance, for diplomacy between both regions. Setting up a, an interoperable marine data system. To generate knowledge and information that is very useful for coastal adaptation and adapting to climate change. We started with making a level playing field and that means that we take stock of the approaches that we have in Europe and in China to data management. It was very interesting to see that they were dealing with similar issues as we have in Europe, but they have a slightly different perspective on things. It's informing on how we do things in Europe, how we do it in China, but also finding that middle way we are working together towards a common goal. The project faced and overcame complex challenges, not least collaborating at international level during a global pandemic. In a relatively short amount of time, previously unconnected communities have connected and have come together to build trust and overcome practical, technical, scientific and language barriers with concrete outputs as a result. We found uh, both sides uh, from uh, Europe and China side have been quite flexible. We have different data policy, but uh, we work around with that uh, to make successful implementations. We have set up services together with our Chinese colleagues. They have already converted a lot of data to the common standards and they are part of the exchange. Now we have access to Chinese data and the Chinese have access to European data. And it makes for better science. That we reach to a really high level of integration of data. We learned a lot about the models. We have tackled so many important topics uh, as the sea level rise, uh, coastal erosion, the wetland degradation, or uh, the vessel density traffic or the sea route uh, covering the area between China and Europe. EMAPACE has put together two communities very different and far away, and they were able to develop interoperability in the ocean data sharing international framework. As we look to the future, we can learn a lot from this unique collaboration. The thing we learned was that, yes, we can do this. We can move along this road to free data sharing. That is something really important for our society. Data collected by many people across the continents, made available to all the continents. So we know more about the ocean than we knew before we started. This is only the beginning. I think we should connect in similar ways to other countries in Asia. Building the foundation necessary for potential future action, which we would like to see in terms of legacy. Now we are looking for new collaborations in the future uh, in different topics around the emot pace topics. We need to make sure that our regional efforts are also contributing to a global digital ecosystem. Email pays can be regarded as, as the practice of cooperation between EU and China in the equal basis for the future UN decade as her starting point for the further corporations in the global scale. It has paved the way for a continued collaboration to expand upon the data exchange practices, but also generate additional information products in coastal adaptation, for example, that will benefit regional and global 
knowledge consumers. Emot Pace has been a fantastic place where people have achieved trust and they have shared uh, between Europe and China as much as possible all the data they could. And this is such a success. Emot Pace and SEMDNet, connecting people, combining data, creating marine knowledge.